week seven of pregnancy, now you're really starting to see something that's starting to look like a little bit of a baby on ultrasound. By week seven, you can usually see a differentiation between the head and the body, um, and arm and leg buds are starting to form uh, in the baby. The baby's about a quarter of an inch to a half inch long um, right now, uh, and growing fairly rapidly. On an ultrasound at this point, you'll see the fetal pole, um, which, like I said, you can probably distinguish the head from the body. You may also see a little round thing in another area um, off to the side of the baby, and that's called the yolk sac. The yolk sac is an area that gives blood and nu nutrients to the baby while the placenta is forming. Talking about the placenta forming, at week seven, the umbilical cord is now formed, and so the baby's all hooked up uh, to the placenta, and so there's interaction now between a circulatory system that's forming in the baby and the mom's circulation to transfuse oxygen and nutrients to the baby um, through the placenta. By week seven, your HCG levels are, are continuing to rise. The HCG is the hormone that we use to measure pregnancy, but it's also the hormone that's responsible for a lot of the symptoms we associate with early pregnancy. Uh, nausea and vomiting, fatigue, uh, breast tenderness and swelling. And so by week seven, most women are experiencing breast tenderness and swelling. Uh, some are starting to get some nausea and vomiting and fatigue can be an issue. For some women, these symptoms can be pretty extreme but for most women, they're not too bad, and some women don't have any at all. The truth is, there's nothing to worry about if you're not getting these symptoms. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong. Um, but if you do have the symptoms, uh, this is sort of what pregnancy is about, and it will get better uh, as you continue down the road. Usually by the end of the first trimester, these early symptoms of pregnancy have resolved and have gone away for most women. It's not unusual to see a little spotting uh, at this point in pregnancy, particularly after intercourse. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong, and so if you do see a little spotting or a little bleeding, there's really no need to panic. Now, of course, if you're hemorrhaging or if you're having a lot of pain, that's a problem that needs to be seen right away. But a little bit of spotting at this point is actually fairly normal, and we see uh, very often, uh, particularly after intercourse, and really no need for worry. So week seven, uh, we've got a uh, good, strong heartbeat on ultrasound. You're able to see a little differentiation between the head and the body as the baby is now a quarter of an inch to a half an inch big. Uh, it's growing rapidly, and your HCG levels, your hormone levels are going up, which is sort of making you feel more and more pregnant.